So what's the latest crypto mining news here in 2020? Let's find out. Shane here, thanks for stopping by my channel. So today we're gonna to look into a couple of articles that I think are going to interest you. Also, this is the answer to win video for my free Bitcoin giveaway, Bitcoin Fridays. And finally, I'm going to be picking a winner for my every video Bitcoin giveaway, which I do have a new name for. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing, clicking that notification bell and setting all notifications. And if you like this kind of comment, you know what to do. Hammer those likes. Let's get into it. All right, first off, I want to thank everyone who commented on my last video trying to help me come up with a name for the Bitcoin that I give away in every video. T. Barnes came up with a good one. I did shorten it a little bit. He called it Bitcoin Comet Roulette. I'm just going to call it Bitcoin Roulette. Thought that sounded good, so thanks again, T. Barnes, for coming up with that name. Thanks for all the comments. I really appreciated that. So like I stated earlier, I'm going to get into a little bit of cryptocurrency mining news. Then, of course, I'll show you guys how to enter my free Bitcoin giveaway. And finally, we're going to pick a random winner for Bitcoin Roulette from my last video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the computer and check out what's going on in the crypto mining community. All right, as usual, everything I'm talking about will be down below, so don't worry about looking for this info. First up, we have a Medium article on the new Beam algorithm that will be coming out here shortly, Beam hash three. Let's scroll down here really quick, and it's about right here. Introducing the new Beam proof of work algorithm, Beam hash three. The new mining algorithm will take effect with the upcoming hard fork expected around June 28th. I will have a video coming out on how to mine that algorithm when it does come out. So be on the lookout for that, which is only two weeks away, a little over two weeks, three weeks, two to three weeks, somewhere around in there. Uh, block 777, 777. I like that number. I like sevens. In the video above, Wilkie Trey gives an in-depth explanation of the Beam Hash 3 algo. There will be a follow-up Q&A for the community. Again, this link will be down below if you wanted to go ahead and watch this video right here. If you scroll down a bit more, the conclusion Beam Hash 3 is easier to implement than Beam Hash 1 or 2. Fits well into 5G memory, 4G and 3G are possible. Is made to utilize the memory bandwidth of all current GPUs better than any other Equihash algorithm. Is single chip ASIC resistant for the next years to come. Allows affordable multi-chip ASIC designs. So there are two things here in this conclusion that give me a little bit of pause. One is right here. Fits well into the 5G memory. Uh, 4G and 3G are possible. So I'm guessing with this statement right here, that's fourth generation, third generation memory on cards is probably going to be a problem if you're going to want to mine BMASH 3. Let me know down below if you guys uh, think the same or think something different. And then the last one right here allows affordable multi-chip ASIC designs. Does that mean there's going to be ASICs on the network? So this right here would be a good comment for Bitcoin Roulette. So all you gotta do is leave a comment down below and you'll automatically be entered into the Bitcoin Roulette contest. And of course, I'll pick a winner in my next video. So do that real quick before we move on. Quick comment, what do you think about the 4G, 3G memory issue, or the multi-chip ASIC designs. Let me know down below, and all you gotta do is comment, and you'll automatically be entered into Bitcoin Roulette. All right, so moving on, you guys have probably heard about this. Vitalik Buterin says, much late, Ethereum 2.0 still on track for July launch. Then, of course, there's a little bit of an update here. After this article was published, Buterin said he did not hear the word July. Right. And if you click right here, reading his full statement, and if you scroll down just a bit right here, I re-listened to the interview. The question indeed contained July. I don't recall hearing July, so it sounds like it's my fault for mishearing. Mishearing, really? Apologizes for that, Buterin said in an email. My actual stance is that E2.0 is on track and that there aren't any unexpected bumps in the road. Testnets are coming along, etc. 
but I defer to client devs on timelines and if they are now saying Q3 more broadly than I believe them. So that's good news if we're uh, mining Ethereum out there, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are. Just means that we'll be able to mine for a tad bit longer on Ethereum. All right, and the final article right here on Zcoin. Zcoin publishes post having block reward allocations. If you guys didn't know, Zcoin will be having a halving in September of this year, and it will be dropping down to 12.5 Zcoin from 25. And it says right here after the September halving, 12 and a half Zcoin will be produced per block. 50% going to the miners, which is really all we care about. I'm sure some of you guys out there may have a couple of Z nodes, which you'll be getting 35% of the block, and then the rest will be going to the development fund, which I really don't have a problem with. So it'll be interesting to see in September the actual price and whether it's still profitable to mine Z coin. So that is coming up in the future. Again, everything I talked about right here will be down below. If you guys want to do a little more digging for yourself, again, don't forget to comment for my Bitcoin Roulette contest. I will be picking a random winner from the comments in my next video. So just make sure you leave me a comment down below. All right, so speaking of Bitcoin Roulette, let's go ahead now and pick a winner for the last video's comments. And that last video right here was PGO Guide. Let me go ahead and copy the link address. We'll go over to the random YouTube comment picker and we will go ahead and paste that in. And then we're gonna get YouTube comments. We had 29 unique comments on that, so I'll scroll down here real quick. Let me go ahead and pick a winner. Good luck, everyone. All right, so Good Looks Gaming, congratulations on winning the Bitcoin Roulette Contest. He says, interesting, keep up the great work. All right, so Good Looks Minings, there's an email address in the comment section below. Just go ahead and send me your Bitcoin wallet address in that email, and I will send your winnings right on over. Again, congratulations for winning this video's Bitcoin Roulette. All right, so now let's head over to my website, and I will show you guys how to enter this week's Bitcoin Fridays. All right, so here we are in thecryptofish.com. As I say every time, enter your email address right here. Click subscribe. YouTube doesn't always notify you guys of my enter to win videos that come out every week, usually on a Tuesday or Thursday. This is just another way for me to get in contact with you guys, let you know my enter to win video has come out and come over, watch the video and enter that week's contest. So Bitcoin Friday's free Bitcoin giveaway, 6-12-2020. All right, so if you go ahead and scroll down here real quick, you're going to have to answer one question correctly. It's really a no-brainer. There's only one right answer. Once you do that, you're going to enter your name and email address. You're going to have to verify that email address. It's going to bring you back over to here where you'll get additional chances to gain more entries into the Bitcoin Fridays contest by following me on various social media. And there'll also be a link there to go ahead and check out something on manifestation if you guys are into that kind of thing. All you got to do is click the link and you'll automatically get 25 more entries into the contest. So that's how you enter this week's Bitcoin Fridays. Again, don't forget to comment down below this video for Bitcoin Roulette and I will pick a winner in my next video. If you guys have any additional questions or comments, please put them down below and I will definitely get back to you. Again, don't forget to hammer those likes. I would appreciate it. If you think this video would be useful for anyone else out there, make sure you share it. I would appreciate that as well. I want to thank you guys for watching today and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.